All right, man, so look, I came across another crazy video for y'all. Now, this video is really crazy, okay? Just based off the title. The title is crazy within itself, all right? But before we get to this video, I need y'all to do me a big, big favor. Go in the comment section below and answer the poll question of the day. Now, today's poll question, I, I, I like this one. I like this one right here. I, I want to get to know y'all, all right? So, name one country, name one state, whatever. Just name one place that you want to travel. I just want one place that you want to travel that you've never been before. Me, personally, I've never been to Aruba, so I want to go to Aruba. I want to go to Aruba, and I guarantee that I'm going to do that by I'd say 2024. 2024, I'm gonna be able to go to Aruba. All right, but y'all let me know in the comment section below what state, what country, whatever. What do you want to travel to that you've never been before? Without further ado, man, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing, man? Follow your boy on IG. All my social medias is in the link description box below. Twitter, IG, whatever, man. Whatever you need is in the link description box below. Also, the podcast channel too. So make sure y'all go ahead, go over to the podcast channel, subscribe. Y'all go love it. I promise you that. Without further ado, man, let's get it. Let's go. The most recent. Um, moment. The, I didn't read that. I didn't read it. I'm sorry. The most recent moment on a lot of television. Um, the the Michael. He seems like a cool guy. I don't know. He, he can't really dress, but other than that, um, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't make an impression with me at all. Like not a good or a bad. Uh -huh. I don't even remember him. Neutral. Okay, yeah. JJ. Michael's I mean, got a twinkle in his eye. Um, he's a young man, and um, I'd have to see more. But he seemed very open. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Mm. No, that sounds like. I don't like Mike. Well, okay, I'm going to say that he's uh, looks like he's native Texas, and being from Texas, I would have to support that. But uh, I don't like him on the fact that he's black. Absolutely not. David, please, please. please. And I knew this was going to come. Please, you know, David. I don't like him because he's black. Are you even serious I right now? Thing, you know, I'm a minority. Wait, but hold the freak. Uh, hold the freak on. I don't like him because he's black. It's, you don't like a person because of the color of their skin. Forget his character. Forget how he treat other people. Forget all of that. You don't like a person because they're black? Literally, I the title said within itself, the most racist moment on live television. This is complete racism. This is true racism. From every, for everybody that want to put racism in, they say this is racist, that is racist, this is racist. This is right here is true racism. Discriminating person because of the color of their skin. You just sat here and said in front of another black man, I don't like him because he's black. How do you even have the balls to even say something like that? You people that are truly racist, like seriously, y'all need help. Y'all need serious help. I would never, ever look at a person based off their skin and say, I don't like that person because they're this color. I don't like you because you're white. I would never, ever in my life say something like that. Never. I don't look at skin. You got real people. You got fake people. You got people who, you got people who's uh, good. You got people who's bad. It's good and bad in every single race. It's, it's real people and fake people in every single race. The realest people I ever met, the most supportive people, the most supportive people I ever met, and I'm going to be 100% honest, is white people. It's white people. Seriously, the most supportive people I ever met, they support me more than my own black people. But I don't sit here and look at color, and I never would look at color. But I'm just saying, that's the most supportive people I ever met in my life. But you say you don't like him because he's black, and you never seen this man's character. You never, I don't even think you understand, I don't think you truly know the man to say you don't like him because he's black. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro, I can't believe you just said that. Absolutely not. David? Please, please, please. And I knew this was going to come. Please, you know, David. I don't like him because he's black. Are you even stuff. serious right now? Thing, you know, I'm a minor. He said it with literally no remorse. I mean, he don't have no feelings towards it. I don't like him because he's black. It's like... Oh. Marty, but I got a problem. Oh, I was going to say. Okay, hold on, hold on. Yet. You're like a minority yourself. Absolutely. You're like, we wrote in 
yesterday together. So I'm, I am to assume, based on what you just said, that you don't like me because I'm black? I'm talking in a can, general sense here. But the general, fact that is... General, fact said, is general sense, how, how much more general than you can be? And then you're sitting in a car look, with somebody, wait, wait. you're riding in it, you said it, you opened it up. Am I? You I, did that. Okay, you let me tell you that. this. You must okay, be out of thing. your... It doesn't matter if we wrote it or not. It doesn't person. matter. I don't know you from anybody, okay? <laughs> you must share the same out of your mind to say something like that. My personal beliefs and my personal experience, I don't like them. Your personal I never have, are gonna and I never will. Like what is it about black people that you don't like? Oh, this ought to be good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm strapping in for this one. I'm so glad she asked that. Oh, this is, oh, man. This is. Yeah, well, strap tight. You might want to strap me in for this one. <laughs> well, the thing is, you know, based on the experience and the people I've worked with, uh, where I come from, um, I, I'm sick and tired of people thinking, uh, specifically, I am mentioning black people, thinking we owe them something, Wait. that the world owes them something. Yeah, I'm totally opposed to affirmative action. Where are you from? I don't want people to give me a job just because I'm brown. I want people to know that I... Okay, now, hold on. He just said something I've been saying for a long time. So I have to agree with him on that. But I won't never agree with a person on the situation of the fact that he don't like him because he's black. And he said he he's saying black people in general. He's speaking in a general sense. So that means that he don't like no black people. Now, first of all, I don't first of all, we're human. We all have different opinions. We all have different ideas. We all have different everything okay different beliefs and everything we're human beings that's what i think that's what makes us so good is that we all have different opinions i wish that we all could come to common sense sometimes but it's good that we all have different opinions and i get it it's a lot of black people who feel like the world owed them something i'm i'm totally against that but that doesn't mean i'm gonna say i hate let's say if white people said that if white people feel like black people owe them something i would not say i hate white people i wouldn't say something like that I hate him because, or I don't like him because he's white. I wouldn't say nothing like that. Simple, simple as that. You just let, you just leave it alone and let it be. So you don't, you don't, you don't just don't like nobody because they're the color of their skin because you feel like, oh, well, black people always feel like we owe them something. Like, what do we owe them? I'm going to keep it real. Nobody owes nobody nothing on this earth. Nobody owes anybody anything. So don't go around thinking that you owe somebody something where you don't owe nobody nothing. You don't owe nobody nothing. I don't owe nobody nothing. You don't owe nobody nothing. Simple as that. But like I said, everybody not, not everybody has common sense to understand that. Okay, and there's a lot of black people who don't have that common sense to understand that the world don't owe them nothing. I get it. I get it. But that doesn't give you the right to not like black people because if you met a person like me, you would like me because I have common sense. I don't agree with what everybody say. I don't even agree with, I'm conservative and I don't agree with what every conservative say. But at the end of the day, that's me. That's just me. I keep it real. I keep it a buck. And I and I, it's like I agree with what he's saying right there, but I don't agree with the fact that he don't like he don't like black people because of because of that. You can't just say you don't like a race because of the experiences that you done had. You haven't met half of the black community. You haven't met everybody that's black. Cause I never met you and I never seen you before. So you never met me. Like, I never met every white person, so I can't say every white person is racist when I never met every white person. I never met every black person. You know what I mean? Black people is around the world. You know what I mean? White people it is around the world. I haven't been around the world. Uh, I haven't been everywhere around the world. I've been around the world, but not everywhere around the world to where I can meet every white person. Haven't done it. You know how many, you know how many uh, white people are in different countries? How many black people it is in, in, in different countries? Like, I just... You haven't met everybody to say you don't like black people because they're black. Like, what? You was better off just saying, I just don't like the fact that this person or that that person feel like I owe them something. You don't have to say I don't like him because he's black. <laughs> like, some things, bro, some things you just got to think before you speak. I mean, truly, I don't know if your parents taught you that, but you always think before you speak. I have the credentials. You know, Polynesians don't have a, 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 a BET. We don't get all pissed off when the, you know, we don't have an NAACP that comes and... Yeah, who's that? You know, you don't I, know, you know, you people... Don't know this who's that? First off, I just want to know where you're from. I grew up on the islands. Where? Overseas. Overseas? Yeah. There's no black people over there? Where overseas? Like, what islands? What are you talking Near about? the Hawaiian Islands. 
the Polynesian Islands. I'm is. a Polynesian, yes. When did you come to America? And I live in, you know, I live in the South. There are plenty of black people there, and I, you know, Clearly I had quite the opportunity to be able to work with these people. And you know what? These no, people, I won't. That is so un and ill-informed and so stupid. Even if, even if you didn't believe it, you think I'm going to stand up here and say I'm not going to give some money to somebody because they're white? I mean, you know, some choice. things, some things are better left unsaid. That would be your choice. Rather than have people really realize what an idiot you are. Now I know. I mean, you are. That is just the most stupid, stupid thing. You know, and, and we, you know, we meet in the car and we say, "Hey, we're going to be friends after this. Don't take anything personally." I do take that personally. I do think it's offensive. I mean, the only way that we're going to survive as a people is that we work together and we understand that if there's one person that's oppressed, uh. if there's one person that's a judge, and I don't mean as a people, as black people, I mean as a people who live here on this earth. If there's one woman that's oppressed, if there's one child that's abused, if there's one person that's discriminated against based on some superficial bull****, you know, then we're not going to make it. Get a grip, man, on how the world Get really works. Get a grip. Works. Okay, really let's, let's like not, wait, 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 wait. Oh, we have plenty more to seven. discuss. Wow. First, first, first of all, <laughs> like I said, this is not even no joking matter. This is not even funny, bro. What you just said can literally hurt millions and millions of people's feelings, okay? And like I said, you can't say that when you haven't met every black person. You can't say these type of things. I can like, for example, I don't believe that black people can say white people are racist. I don't believe they can say that white police officers are racist, uh, racist or officers in general when they haven't met everybody in the department. Unless you getting pulled over by a different cop every single day, every like if you getting pulled over by the whole entire police department, you're doing something wrong. Okay, but if you only got if you if you only got experience or had experience with about two cops that wasn't on your side that was literally I guess you could say racist towards you, that doesn't mean that you take that experience and put it on a whole bunch of other people. Like you just don't do that, bro. You seriously don't. And then you got the nerve to say get a grip. Wow, bro. I never I never knew because I never experienced it myself. Okay, but that right there was absolutely racist, bro. Absolutely. How can you seriously sit here and say something like that? And you had no type of remorse. You didn't feel nothing towards you. Just up and said it. Didn't think about it before you said it. You just up and said it, bro. Seriously, man. Like, we need to stop this racism, this racism bro. We just need to come together as one. Okay? If you worked with this black person and they made you mad and they was terrible and you worked with that black person and they was there, bro, don't put that, don't put your experience with those, with those people and put it on a whole group of us. Cause there's a lot of black people I heard that got common sense. There's a lot of white people, a lot of Asian, a lot of Mexicans, there's a lot of everybody who got common sense. There's common sense in every race. Best believe. It's people out here who don't feel like they people deserve no uh people owe them anything. It's people out here like that. It's, you people need help, man. This is the second delusional video I watched all day, and my my brain is hurting. All right. Anyways, man, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about this entire situation. How y'all feel about it? Okay. Was this racist? Was this not? Like, y'all, let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about the situation. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.